I would just read what was in the emails. It was in black and white that it was part of a Russian government effort to help Trump discredit Clinton and that the president's son said he was very happy to hear about that and went ahead and had that meeting and then brought in the campaign manager and the president's son-in-law. Yet each of these individuals have continuously denied any type of contacts with Russians, particularly that was involved with the campaign. Those denials are clearly false. We're now beyond obstruction of justice in terms of what's being investigated. Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, Paul Manafort all met with a Russian who said that she had information that could compromise Hillary Clinton. That proves that there was an attempt at collusion between the Russians and the Trump campaign. This question of collusion, which essentially starts to transition this into potentially a treason investigation, it, when he was approached with this idea, he should have turned it over to law enforcement immediately. That's what anybody should have done. As a former prosecutor, my reaction was these emails are a textbook example and evidence of criminal intent. I love it. Those three words are going to haunt Donald Trump Jr.